Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be thy name forever. Here we are another short garden update. I'm just going to go through here real briefly here. Show you how the onions are doing beautiful. Peppers are starting to produce a lot of fruit. As you can see, the peppers down there. Beautiful pepper plants. Sweet peppers. Lettuce is still... I mean, we've been eating lettuce for quite a while now. Thank you, Father, for the fresh food out of the garden. The squash is doing real good. Here's one that's down here that Sister Kathy seen today. Beautiful. Nice acorn squash. And then we have... Uh, Butternut squash, then you see the beets. The beet row is real good. The beets are growing beautiful under the ground. And on top we have the beet greens, which we've been mixing in with the collard greens for uh, fresh, green, wholesome juice. High energy juice, full of nutrients and vitamins. Thank you, Father. It, I mean, they're just the beginning of the creation of God. And God's going to go back to this, just like he did in the Garden of Eden. And one day, and it's going to be a, a glorious time when Jesus the Christ does return. But he's not coming back this year like the lying, false, lying hypocrite and false witness Ralph Starris proclaimed that he'd be back within six months of his death. So we only got a few more months to go to find out that he was a liar. Actually, we already, I already know he was a liar from the beginning. He's lied about so many things, especially the coming of Jesus Christ. And then you got all these perverts out here, like the Overcomer Ministry, propagating all of RG's lies. Well, he talked about Jesus coming. He did? Yeah, a lot of people talk about Jesus Christ coming. But they're liars when they, when they, well, anyways, you'll see very shortly because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to open up some more things about Ralph Stare and his, and his lying, deceitful words that he spoke about many different things. Especially now, remember now, Resurrection's got to take place coming up here pretty soon. End of the July, beginning of August. Right at the beginning of the last 45 days, according to Ralph now. I mean, that's a, a revelation from God Ralph got now. The last 45 days are going to begin, he said, with the resurrection of the saints. So you all better get by Ralph's gravesite over there. And uh, you better just stick around his gravesite the last week of July and the first week of August just to see. Watch Ralph pop out of the ground. Maybe then he'll speak the 40-day revelation, huh? I mock that lying spirit of hell that's been perpetrated and, and uh, promoted throughout the world by the Overcomer Ministry, James Rice, Dennis Larrabee, Rose Larrabee, and all the other perverted ministers of Satan that you, you hear now uh, from what I've heard. I don't hear it, but I've heard that uh, old James is uh, asking for money. What do they need money for? If they got the radio time paid up and Jesus is coming, they need no more money. But you see, they're liars, just like their mentor, Ralph Stair. I, I got more to talk about later, uh, which I will be doing here in a few days. Lord be my helper, and I believe he is. He's going to help me to do it. But anyways, let's get back to the garden update. Here's the uh, beautiful rows of tomatoes that <coughs> are starting to produce fruit. As you can see right there. Uh, I mean, all, all these plants are starting to produce fruit now. And we just wait, as the husband will wait for the precious fruit of the earth, until it's ready. And then we've been here with some beautiful zucchini plants. I mean, zucchinis on this plant here. Thank you, Father. Kathy, Sister Kathy made some zucchini bread already. Now here is the end of the pea vine. We've been blessed with so many peas eating them fresh, preserving them. And then as you see there, the potatoes are just doing wonderful. I mean, they just, <laughs> it's amazing how God grows these things like he does. We planted them, we watered, but God actually watered, gives us the water to water with, and then he gives the increase. But here, what got me going here was the Royal Burgundy bean harvest. As I've been harvesting these beans here, as you can see, Royal Burgundies, beautiful. This is the first, the, actually the first harvest of the year for these Royal Burgundy beans. And there you see them on the vine. And I'm going to be going down here and uh, 
just harvesting these beans on a row here. I got not even not even a quarter of the way down. And you see what, what I picked up here. So now I'm going to uh, get back to harvesting these beans. The Lord bless y'all saints. Remember now, God will bless the works of your hands as long as it's done in his righteousness. So we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.